Hello friends, uh, welcome again. And this is my new project, Railway Reservation System. And I have developed this project in Spring Boot, Angular and Masco. So the JDK version I'm using is JDK 1.8, Masco version is 5.6, and Angular version is 12, right? And uh, for running the Spring Boot microservices, I'm using the Tomcat server. And Tomcat version 9, I'm using for ID, I'm using STS Spring Boot tool suits for developing the Spring microservices. And uh, for Angular application, I have used Visual Studio Code. And for connecting MySQL with the Spring Boot, I'm using the JP Hibernate applications, right? So for port, I'm running the microservices application on port 8080. And uh, for front end, I'm using port 4200-4200. Uh, for running the front end applications, right? So these all technology stacks, ports, and ID I am using for developing for developing this project railway reservation system, right? So let's start with the functionality. Go through that what we have implemented, what are the features available inside this project, right? So the project title is railway reservation system, and it's a mini project developed in Java, Spring Boot, and mysql and angular right meaning project because it has only and only customer operations there are there is no admin login there is no admin operations because it comes with the major project which is also available on our website with the project title name of train ticket booking system right so once you run this project on port 4200 on the domain on the um, browser right so you will get this home page so you can see this is the home page right and these all trains are coming from the database. These all drop downs are coming from values are coming from the database, right? Okay, this is about project and it's a static page. There is nothing dynamic on it, right? Home page, these drop downs are dynamic. These trains are dynamic. This about informations is coming from the database, right? So this is the about project. You can see this is about project. This is a search train, right? Uh, it's saying that search bus but it will be search string right and here you can select the Delhi to Gaya suppose uh, I have route added for Ghaziabad right and total passengers three and then this one right well search so it's saying that no flight found okay so there is again i am delhi to searching for the gear search right you can see the details here right and there are two trains provide the service from delhi to gaya right once you click on the details then you will get this informations right here yeah, this and a select ticket type ac non ac right but there is a restriction so you can't book the train ticket without login right so for that you need to log in so this is a customer login if you don't have the user id and password you can register from here you can see this is a registration button registration form this is a contact us and it's a static contact us we are not sending any type of email sms from this page even we are not sending any type of we are not saving it into the database also this is a feedback form right and even we are not using that right so now i'm going to log in as a customer right submit so you will get this dashboard here right here home i already explained you this is a dashboard again about search train my bookings from here you will be able to see all of the bookings which you have made earlier once you click on this you will be able to see the details of the booking you can see the all passenger details are coming right you can print it right you can see your my bookings from here in the my admin section also right from here here you will be able to see all of the booking site this is a my account section from where you will be able to see the my account details even you can update it also right okay now i am going to book a train so search train again i am sitting the uh, searching for delhi to gaya right and total passengers to month i'm searching for 26 and you can see all other past date is disabled because you can't book the past tickets right search right so details now you can see the information here earlier these informations were not available right but now it's available right here you need to set the ac tickets and the passenger name enter the passenger name i am searching for amit age is 22 gender is 
mail add passenger you can see a myth has added into the list sumit and then age is 22 and the mail add passenger so two passengers we have added right so i have uh, so set the ac ticket type and then uh, suman and suman right and the age is 34 and select is female add passenger right so i have added three once you click on the book ticket then ticket cost will be calculated automatically right so book ticket you can see 4500 because 80 ac ticket who cost was 1500 rupees per passenger right here you need to enter the card number details this is a dummy card payment page right there is nothing there is no real time transaction we are doing this is a dummy page no need of entering any type of credit card details we are not any making any type of any external hits it's a dummy payment gateway right here you need to enter the name you can enter whatever you need we are not validating it right so select month and this and once you click on the make payment you can see that your booking has been generated booking guide is 380 these all are the details these are the passenger details you can print the receipt right for booking 80 you can see in the book my bookings page also right this is a booking number 80 once you click on this you will be able to see right so these all are the options right so once you click on the logout the above admin menu will not be displayed so logout you can see admin operations which will be performed by customer will not is not displaying right if you log in then it's displaying because it's checking the session that what menu the system needs to render right so according to the session and role the menus are getting rendered right so logout so these all functionalities you have developed inside this project railway reservation system as i told you earlier this is a mini project developed in java spring boot angular and mysql right major project is also available on our website so if you need any enhancement any functional new functionality in this project just put it into the comments we will incorporate those changes we will make this project more better and better according to your requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies Thanks for watching the video. Thank you very much.